Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, myself Chirag. In this video, I am going to discuss about LDA and STA instruction in microprocessor 8085 in assembly language tutorial. Let's check the outline of this video. The first topic is what is LDA and STA instruction? The second one is where to use LDA and STA instruction? The third one is syntax of LDA and STA instruction? And the last topic is LDA and STA instruction explained with programming. So without wasting time, let's start with the first topic. What is LDA and STA instruction? So first of all, LDA means load data from memory location to the accumulator A. So we all know that accumulator is a special register. For example, the value 20 is stored on the memory location 2000. So now I want to copy or load that value into the accumulator from the memory location. So I have to use LDA instruction. The next instruction is STA. STA means stored data from accumulator to memory location. For example, the value 20 is stored on the accumulator. So now I want to copy or store that accumulator value onto the particular memory location. So I have to use STA instruction. So this is the meaning of LDA and STA instruction. The next topic is where to use LDA and STA instruction in programming. So we all know that there are six general purpose register in microprocessor 8085. Register B, C, D, E, H and L. So if you want to copy or store that value from the register to particular memory location. Else from memory location to register. But you cannot exchange the value between the general purpose register and memory location. Because no direct instruction is available in microprocessor 8085. So there is one question arise in my mind. How can I exchange the value between general purpose register B and memory location? So here in this question, I highlight exchange. So it means value is exchanged between memory to register B and register B to memory. So first of all, I discuss how to load a value from memory location to register B. For example, the value 20 is stored on memory location 2000. So as per the question, value 20 is loaded into the register B from memory location 2000. But I already told that no direct instruction is available in 8085 microprocessor. So I must have to use LDA instruction. Using the LDA instruction, I can load that value 20 into accumulator from the memory location 2000. So now content of the accumulator is 20. Then I will use move instruction to copy data from accumulator to register B. So finally, the value 20 is loaded into the register B from the memory location 2000. So if you want to learn about move instruction, then click on the above I button. So now next task is value store from register B to particular memory location. As per the question, value 20 is stored into the memory location 2001 from register B. But we all know that there is no direct instruction is available in 8085 microprocessor. So first of all, I must have to use move instruction to copy value. 20 from register B to accumulator A. So first of all, I must have to use move instruction to copy value 20 from register B to accumulator A. After that, I will use STA instruction to store data from accumulator to memory location 2001. So finally, value 20 is stored at memory location 2001 from register B. So finally, value 20 is stored at memory location 2000 from register B. So with the help of these two examples, we can understand LDA and STA instruction is used with accumulator and memory location. The next topic is syntax of LDA and STA instruction. So first of all, syntax of LDA instruction is LDA memory address. So for example, how to write that LDA instruction like LDA 2000. Here 2000 is the memory address or we can say memory location. Next, syntax of STA instruction, STA memory address. So for example, how to write STA instruction, STA and memory location 2001. So these are the syntax of LDA and STA instruction. The next topic is example of LDA and STA instruction. To understand LDA and STA instruction, let's take one program definition. Write assembly language program to move 8-bit data from memory location 2000 to memory location 2001. So before writing the code of this program, 
our first task is build a logic so as per the definition data store in memory location 2000 i would like to store 20 in the memory location 2000 then next task is data load into the accumulator from memory location 2000 because there is no direct instruction is available to exchange the data between two memory location for the second task i will use lda instruction so using the lda instruction i will load memory location 2000 data to the accumulator then next task is data store at memory location 2001 from accumulator a for this third task i will use sta instruction using the sta instruction store data from accumulator to memory location 2001 so here my logic is complete so now write a code in gnu sim 8085 and execute that code step by step so as per our logic the first task is store the value 20 in the memory location 2000 so first of all search the memory location 2000 here and press ok now the memory location 2000 has the value 0 so now update the memory location value now enter 2000 the value is 20 and update the memory so now check value 20 is stored on the memory location 2000 next task is load or copy the value from memory address 2000 to accumulator so our instruction is lda 2000 because i want to load the value 20 from memory address to the accumulator next task is accumulator value store at the memory location 2000 so i write sta 2001 so as per our logic the program is complete so write the last instruction hlt so first of all assemble the program so now program assembled successfully now step by step execution of the program so now execute the first instruction lda 2000 so now the content of memory location 2000 is stored into the accumulator so accumulator content is 14 so why it is 14 because accumulator store all the values in hexadecimal format so let's check what is the hexadecimal value of decimal 20 so now check it is 14 now execute the next instruction as per the next instruction the accumulator content is stored on the memory address 2001 so current value of the memory address 2001 is 0 so now execute the instruction so now you can check over here the value of memory address 2001 is updated and it is 20 so it means the content of accumulator is stored on the memory location 2001 and the last instruction is HLT. It means the stop the execution of program. So if you like this video, please hit the like button and share with others. Subscribe my channel on YouTube and press the bell icon for the new video notification. And all the video materials are available on my blog chirakbalodia.com. Links are given in description. So thank you for watching this video.